This Monday, ABC turns up the heat with a little Latin flavor. Two words, muy caliente. Eva Longoria hosts a night of soul stars. Thank you, I love you too. And a whole lot of sizzle. I smell smoke. With appearances by Andy Garcia, Mark Anthony, Jennifer Lopez, Jessica Simpson, George Lopez, Jessica Alba. And performances by Big and Rich, Paulina Rubio, Gloria Estefan, Ryan McKnight, and more. Eva Longoria hosts the 2006 Alma Awards this Monday at 9 38 30 Central. Solamente on ABC. Recently, Comcast had the opportunity to attend the 2006 Alma Awards in Los Angeles. They were co-sponsored by the National Council of La Raza, also known as NCLR. The Alma Awards promote the artistic achievement of Latinos in television, film, and music, while promoting the enhancement of the Latino image in the entertainment industry. So let's go down to the red carpet and catch up with some of the festivities. This is a remarkable event because we're able to celebrate the success of the Latino community in the entertainment industry, but we also need to point out that we need to do more. And so we're here building awareness for that and hopefully opening doors for other Latinos and Latinas in this industry and in Hollywood. Well, a lot of the work that NCLR does and that we care about as a community, education most importantly, and making sure that our kids have the opportunity to learn, to go to college, to get a good paying job, and to be able to not only succeed and to offer well-being for their own families, but to be able to give back to this country that has given us so much. We have a wide array of, uh, of programs and initiatives that we support that serve the Latino community here in the U.S., um, health, education, home ownership, workforce development. So we run an array of programs, and we are advocates in, on Capitol Hill and in Washington for policy changes that we know will advance the interests of the Hispanic community. Well, I'm happy that they are having them here in Los Angeles because the growing strength of the Latino community is so important, and to showcase our top artists is wonderful, and I... No, Eva Longoria is someone who's a rising star now on the, on the front scenes of our televisions and even motion pictures. And the NCLR has uh, brought the Almas back along with the ABC and, and I've helped produce it. And I think it couldn't come at a better time, especially with what's going on with our nation. Um, I think it's important to recognize the contributions that Latinos have made in our community and in our society. And when you get all of us together at a show like this, you can really see the amazing talent that we've produced. Well, I think it's it's very important to recognize people who are making a contribution from our com you know from our culture and and I think that's a good thing. I think young kids look up to that and it's an inspiration to young kids to see that. And just like Anthony Quinn was an inspiration to me, you know, I, we all you know try to pass the baton, you know, because to keep the. Uh, the dream alive. I think these awards are so important tonight for the Hispanic community because, especially in the political atmosphere that we're in right now, um, it's perfect that the Almas are back up on their feet and that everybody's being represented and also that Eva Langoria is hosting because she is the perfect representative right now. She's made it in to be a Latina in primetime television and she has kind of cleared the way for every other network to follow suit and start having Latina women and men and everybody represented on all these different shows, and it's great. It's, it's good across the board. Desperate for a little fun? This Monday, the Alma Awards come to ABC. The biggest Latin names, the hottest acts. Summer just got a little spicier. Eva Longoria hosts the 2006 Alma Awards this Monday at 9, 38, 30 Central. Solamente on ABC. I have uh, eight changes tonight. They're all Latino designers. Uh, all of my shoes are Latin designers. Uh, we, we have, you know, we're trying every aspect to promote all of, of Latino contributions. I've got a couple of them now, so I'd... that's 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 a beautiful thing too. So it means a lot. Um, it means a lot to me because no matter, this comes from mi gente. Yeah. You know, it comes from from the people that I that I, I guess. More than anything, I want to try to impress with my work or affect with my work. Uh, so it, it does mean a lot. And I'm glad the show, uh, you know, after a little hiatus, with that, that it's back on the air. And uh, it's a really great night tonight. National Council of La Raza, yes. they've, they, not only do they 
sponsor in, in this award show, but they're, they're advocates on so many Latino issues around the country, and it's just uh, important to have an organization like that, which is pretty much the, the cornerstone of a lot of different Latino organizations around right. the country. Right. Well, it's, it's important to be back now because now uh, it's actually filled with celebrities that America knows, you know what I mean? Whereas, too, I think that five, ten years ago, a long time ago, awards like these uh, had names of people that we knew, but maybe not everybody knew. Yeah. But now when, you know, the names that are being touted, everybody knows. Everybody knows the George Lopez. Everybody knows the Jennifer Lopez. Everybody, you know. So these aren't just Latino celebrities. We're American celebrities of Latino descent, Hispanic descent, whatever you want to call it. And so it, it's important because you know what? Kids need to see themselves. They do. Kids need to see themselves in, in everything so that they feel like they can accomplish that. Because if they don't, you know, that's when they end up saying, oh, man, I can't be a doctor. Only yeah. only Hindu people are doctors. And it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then then it ends up on my show where, like, why am I the only doctor? I don't understand. Why am I not with a Mexican guy? And you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, that's what happens. So it's important that we see ourselves all of us do, you know, in, 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 in this country that has such such an array of, of colors, you know what I mean, with regards to ethnicity and background, it's very vital, it's important. Well, I think it's a great opportunity for the rest of the community to understand uh, the depth of the artistry that's now involved in uh, making just um, art. It's important to see the contributions that, that Latinos make to this wonderful country and the entertainment industry in general. I think uh, some people are often surprised that actors that they didn't know <laughs> were Latinos. And I think you're going to have some amazing performances. That opening is hot, hot, hot. Those four amazing women. And uh, it's going to be entertaining, a lot of fun. And I get to give one of my best friends in the world a wonderful award, what an achievement for Andy Garcia, who can do it all. Acting, directing, producing, musician, you know, Academy Award nominee, Grammy winner, and great, great guy. Growing up, I was like, a, you know, I was a kid and I, you know, I wanted to be an actor, like, you know, and I didn't know if I could ever do it, you know, growing, you know, coming up from Chicago. And then as soon as I see, like, you know, some people like Edward James Olmost and, you know, Jimmy Smith and, you know, everyone else doing it, I was like, well, you know, maybe, maybe there's a, you know, there's a slight chance. And then I see the Alma Awards, I'm like, wow, they're even giving them awards. I'm like, that's, you know, they, so we have a place. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just great to be acknowledged by my people, you know what I mean? It's really good. First of all, I'm very happy that it's back. It's, I think it's long overdue, and it's very important to support these, uh, these sort of uh, events, and uh, in particular, uh, Latino events, me being, you know, Mexicano, of course, I, you know, it's very dear to my heart, and I love being so. And I think just now, with the political climate and everything that's going on, and the climate in the uh, entertainment industry it couldn't have come at a better time so i think it's all happening for a reason it all seems to be positive momentum and i'm sure it's going to be a great night um you know i'm just so proud to be here i'm really excited that there's an award show and that there are enough of us to fill an award show you know enough enough yeah. really amazing talented celebrated people um, who are here and excited about celebrating what we've contributed to to the entertainment industry and um, it's wonderful to be in such company really we as a Latino community need to be able to come together in every aspect whatever we're doing whether it's in entertainment whether it's in law whether it's in public service whatever and celebrate uh, the strides that we've been making as individuals and as a culture and as a community and and also it's a way for us to invite uh, the part of the community that is not Latino in to see how we celebrate and to see who we are. It's an important night for us Latino. You know, they, you know, uh, we're sharing the stage with everybody right here. You know, it's a big moment for us. Right here, I'm nominated with Carlos, Ryan Cabrera, also with Frankie Ye, who's a good friend of mine. Uh -huh. But the important thing is that everybody, you know, is gathered here, you know, with a main purpose, which is, you know, having fun, you know, and, and Sacar la, la cara por los latinos, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, after a three-year absence, it's important to be here to represent. I think uh, 
I think uh, I, I personally am honored to be among the women that I'm nominated with, as well as to be presenting. I think that politically, what's been going on in the country, I think, culminates into uh, something like this, is, which is what well, people are marching about continue to struggle to realize, which is what people don't realize. So it's a wonderful reminder to come out here and, and stand for all of those things, all those uh, hardships and all that, all that stuff that we've struggled to realize throughout the years. My, my parents coming in from the Dominican Republic struggled, so you know. It's really important here to say, yeah, we're here, we're count, and uh, we're here for each other. I always say NTLR does God's work on earth because Absolutely. they um, advocate for, you know, human rights. I, I, I know that it's a Latino organization, but they're really fighting for the basic rights that every human being should have in this world. Right. Not only in this country, but in this world. And so um, everything from health care reform to education reform to um, helping Latinos buy their first home and become homeowners in this nation. And the work that they, do, that they do is endless, and I'm just really excited to always be a part of that. We're so proud to have you all here today. Thank you for coming. Please support National Council La Raza, support the Alma Awards, and support the talent that we're going to acknowledge today. Because we want to see that talent flower. We want a renaissance of ta talent from this community. Muchas gracias a todos, and welcome to Los Angeles.